Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to add a context, a context form to your Wix website in 2023. So, first of all guys, all you need to do is watch this video from now till the end so you can understand everything without any mistake or without any problem. So, let's get started with this video. Now, let's go to the URL section and search for Wix and let's go to this website. Of course guys, you can use Wix in the free version or the premium version which is also available in them so here we go it is free upgrade anytime you can upgrade whatever you like and of course if you stayed with the free version it will stay for you forever now as you can see i am connecting to my account or my uh, website and here we go so this is my website this is like quick tutorial for example if you wanted to create a, a new site you can just click here create a new site and in your case guys so in this video i'm trying to make a context form so how we can do that so in our case in the first place when you are creating your website let's choose it to be a blog and let's make it next so here we go here i'm going to add for example a uh, farm uh, this is just like an example, you don't have to follow my steps, these guys. So here what I'm going to do is choose what I'd like to be in my website. So first, I'm going to add a forms. Then I can go somewhere down, forms, food order, bandwidth, file share. Okay, we can add also this, and booking, and that's it. Now let's click on next, and here we go. Now we can start with using a template so this is really interesting because there is some template that will actually add a context form by default in them so you can choose whatever you'd like from this uh, in my case i will just choose a random one so i will add my context form by my own so i'm going to choose for example this one now all you need to do is click on edit and you will be able to edit this page as you can see here now let's wait a little bit until it fully loads and we can actually work with it it can take a lot of time it can take some couple of seconds so you can say that it is relative to your internet connection and your pc as well and of course to their servers now let's wait for it until it receives the nine so adding the finishing touches so it has no longer like it will not take a lot of time now it will be so fast and basically guys adding connect form in wix is pretty easy it is like literally the easiest thing on earth it is easier than wordpress easier than coding it by yourself easier than anything of course you can use chat gpt in case you were coding but overall this is not necessary now here it is so this is like the thing now how we can actually add our context form so first of all let's go all the way down and let's add a section here I'm going to add for example you can just add a form from here and we can add for example this form as, as an example we can add this here and here we go now if I went all the way down so you can here change the actual image of the background we can make it whatever we would like um, we can choose this for example and here we can change this to contact form and we can keep it that way now we can here uh, let's make this deck like that and we can change the color as well we can do a lot of things to our text it doesn't only stays about uh, about that so we can add a font size we can here add some effects cracks in line space vertical and here also these things um i think there is here the color so here you can shade the color to whatever you'd like and yeah let's keep it that way for example for now now this is the actual form so how we can edit it that's pretty easy here you can click on animation if you'd like to add some animation to it to make it look prettier um let's add some animation to it actually so fade in fly in spin in okay that's too much um uh, float in arc in so i think the glide in thing or float in is pretty good so we can gonna keep it that way and now here how you can choose to remove or add any field you'd like so if you'd like to remove this you can just click on delete on your keyboard and delete it you can get it back by ctrl z of course now here's the date of birth you can 
uh, edit it for example from here make a design for it um, change the colors do anything you'd like here you can make it black as you can see here you can make some custom design for your own so it is a hundred percent customizable if you'd like to actually add a new field just click here you can add a new field from here we can add for example um here let's add champs check box so you can add it over here it will be added in here we can add for example the um, phone number which is already in here we don't really have to re-add it um so let's say for example this is a necessary thing to add so as you can see there is kind of a mark which is next to this field to actually precise which one is uh, more uh, important than the other which is pretty easy to find so you can go to settings advanced settings and from here guys you can add uh, from a bit on how visitors answer this field you can add some rules of course so for example phone number you can add um, uh, if it is like um, some kind of countries accepted the others are not accepted the context from here automation um, here you can go to settings and actually add it to this uh, here now let's actually try to add a new field and let's make it for example um, advanced field and here let's make it like that number field now how am i going to actually make this one an important one so here you can find the settings here as you can see if i go to save create field you can save it enter number here is the field name and easier to manage fields etc and here if you wanted to make some information about it and so go on here you can click the setting to adjust the advanced setting of the field and connect it to data if you want to add next to data you can add some in case you'd like to add a specific animation for this field you can add it as well of course you can just add here star and basically by adding a star it will be like directly an important field so this is like the easiest thing ever like this is the easiest form that you can ever create in uh, your uh, <laughs> in your life with Wix or any kind of other uh, work like services that gives you a website a maker or let you to build your website as you can see here so this is like pretty much it this is how you can create your own firm guys from scratch of course there is another way so let me just show you another way which is uh, some people use so we can go to here to add a box and from here I'm going to draw a box for example over here as you can see now how can I, how can I add a form to this I'm just going to click here and then I'm going to click on here, says for form. Uh, sorry, form. Uh, form. Here we go. And here you can add, for example, a form. So here I'm going to add form and you can choose here what kind of form you'd like you can of course go to hit contact choose whatever you'd like from here um you can add requests you can choose for example this one drag it move it and make it compatible with your page as you can see this one you've reached limit of five forms so in your normal case if you are in like in my case which is a free plan you can only get a five forms in your website so make sure to upgrade it in case you'd like to have more forms in your websites and yeah guys that was pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial